What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now today we're going to be finally playing the new Wild West campaign that just came out about two weeks ago or something by now. So let's just jump into it. Mining with dynamite, leading cacti, bullets, and cacti. Yeah, I know what some of the units look like, and one of them's like a heckin' cactus and stuff. Uh, I did already do a video on my second channel showing the secret units too, so that's really cool. Looks like we have some units here that have like a pickaxe, like a miner unit. Ooh. And who are these guys back here? Oh, a dynamite unit. Ooh. This is going to be interesting. So we've got a pickaxe guy and a dynamite gal, I think, actually. Ooh. So what can we do? We have $1,900 here. I don't really... I kind of want to get... Let's get a bunch of halflings real quick. Just because I, I want to see what these guys are about real quick. There you go. I keep forgetting where the halfling is. <laughs> but there you go. A bunch of halflings. Now, what? It, this is probably going to be bad, especially against the dynamites. Uh-oh. There's the dynamite right there. Okay, it looks like the pickaxe guy uses the pickaxe as a weapon, of course. He's, like, mining into the halflings. Do those dynamites, like, take forever to explode? Uh, oh. Okay, well, the explosion for the dynamite isn't that... Oh, and it's backfiring right there, actually. <laughs> are the halflings going to win? Do not tell me the halflings are going to win. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't think they are. For a second there, I thought they were. Which is going to be so heckin' hilarious if that happens, but... I just wanted to see what these guys are all about. Looks like they attack very slowly, too, so so kind of reminding me of the, the not the scythe, or uh, sickle, but the scythe guy, the harvester. Kind of reminds me of the harvester unit. Ooh. So we'd actually kind of exploit that. Get a bunch of ranged units, and maybe some fast melee units to go up against these guys. And look at that, there's a lone halfling here. He's trying to <laughs> get this guy's leg, but there's like three other heckin' minor guys over here. Yeah, I need to, oh my god, he's got his butt out. He pulled his second pants down. No, <laughs> you gotta get me demonetized now. Do all of them have that? They do. All of them have their heckin' butt cracks exposed. Oh my gosh, this video is completely demonetized. Thanks a lot. Are they gonna kill that halfling? I want to actually, oh my god, okay, there you go, jeez, I was wondering, like, jeez, are they going to, like, kill themselves or something? I bet, we could probably win that if I spread all the halflings about, I bet, jeez. Either way, yeah, definitely want to have some sort of ranged unit, maybe, like, maybe, like, some sort of archer, and then, like, a fast melee. I don't know, actually, now that I think about it, it'd be really cool to use, like, a, a ninja again, at least one. But, of course, these guys are $500 each, so we're going to have someone to protect them, of course, the monk's good. Maybe we can get a shield bearer, maybe some of those guys. Get a few of them. There you go. There's four. Then what can we have as like a a good melee to go against these guys? Now we have that like ranged with the ninja that has a look at fast attacks. What can we use? Because we could use everything. We could even use spooky over here too. Skeleton warrior. Eh, skeleton archer was actually pretty good. Now that I remember. Yeah. We can get a few of them too. We can get like five of them. So there you go. I'll, maybe I'll get like three of them. There you go. I'll get three of them and then we'll still have some money left over for maybe like squires or something. Perhaps. Yeah, let's get a few squires. There you go. And we still have $160 left over. Yeah, let's get to uh, Let's get four squires. And then of course, let's get ourselves a halfling to lead the charge. And maybe bait out the, uh, the dynamites too. That'd be really good. Maybe get a bard for that. I forget how, how much they cost. I think they're about, I think they're like 60, aren't they? Maybe. Either way, we, yeah, we've got the squire. Oh, man! The dynamites are actually going off right now, which is good. Because it looks like they, uh... Well, they kind of backfired over here against all the pickaxe guys. I need to see what they're actually named, but yeah, the ninja actually did some really good work on that side. Didn't catch it, though. Of course, the skeleton archer's in the background, too, with their, like, flaming arrows as well. Kind of want to do that again. Man, whoops. I accidentally just hit. Oh, we're going against the cactus guy now. Ooh. Can I see what their name? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's just Cactus Miner Dynamite Thrower. That makes sense. There's also a Gunslinger Lasso Deadeye Quick Draw. Ooh. That's going to be really cool here in just a bit. Kind of wanted to redo that last level again so I could actually see what the ninja was like, but thankfully we were able to beat that one. Anyways, for this one, let's let's focus on what the, the Cacti guy is going to do. I assume he's kind of like, uh, where is he? Like the barrel guy from the farmer. He looks like he might be able to soak up some hits or something because he's got like effective cactus outfit <laughs> so i think uh, and he's probably gonna like what was it called was he a secret unit i think he was yeah secret unit well the ballooner yeah he like hugs you and then he sticks to you and then he takes you to this guy i think the cactus guy probably hugs you as well just by what i saw in the trailer so mm, thirty six hundred dollars what can we get against these, these guys now? We could probably do Brawler or something like that. That'd probably be okay. Maybe use the shield to 
protect against the, the cactus guy, because I feel like he might be good against range stuff like a like a, a bow. So we can get a few brawlers. Let's get like a, maybe like six of them. There you go, there's six. And what else could we get? Head butter. Nah, that's not gonna be good against them, I'm sure. I don't know. Of course, yeah, we use pirate too. Blunderbuss might be alright, but they, they shoot so slowly. Harpooner? Maybe? Flint like is a one time like use. I don't think it's gonna be that good. Samurai is good. They might be good against the, the pickaxe guy, the miners. Like, that, I, that maybe. I'm like, they, they don't have any projectiles for them to like deflect or anything like that, but. We could probably use the, uh, the Samurai guy as, like, backup for the, uh, the, the Brawlers there. So we can get a few of them, like, five of them. That sounds fine. And definitely do want to get some sort of range to maybe take on the Miner guy, even if the pickaxe, or, uh, the Cactus guy is able to soak him up. Hopefully these guys will be able to take out the Cactus guys. So we just used a Skeleton Archer. I guess maybe we could use a regular Archer for right now, maybe? So we get a few of them, maybe, like, five of them. That sounds good to me. And we have $880 left over. Yeah, Bards were 60. So perhaps... Because these guys are all melee, I believe. I don't know. Maybe we could get at least one bard. Put them, like, right here to maybe lure them over here, and then hopefully be able to take them out right there, and then... Oh, well, that might backfire. They might lure pickaxe guys to our archers, so maybe not the best idea to get the... Well, the bard doesn't... He doesn't always go this way. He goes wherever, so who knows where he's going to go. I guess we just get a... Maybe just... Maybe let's get two of them. There you go. I haven't used a bard in forever. I don't want to get some sort of artillery just because it's been a little while, and we have a little bit of money left over. Catapult, that's a thousand. Mmm. Maybe. That might work, but like, who am I going to get rid of to afford that? Maybe a few archers? I guess I can get a few archers. There you go. And then we have only three archers, $40 of over. Let's see how this does. Because this might actually be okay, especially if they group up and stuff. Ooh, that did all right there. Oh, whoa. They shoot like cactus thorns out of them. Ooh. Hold on, how's that work? I kind of want to keep watching. Are they? Oh, yeah, they did grab the brawler there. Yeah, there's the bard. Yeah, they're getting up against our... You, ooh, that's not good. Oh, wait, what in the world? The catapult has eyes now. What? <laughs> Is that new? The catapult has, like, heckin' eyes. It's like he's from Cars or something like that. Oh, the catapult just, like, killed itself right there. Whoops. That was bad. Um, I think all I'm going to do now is just wait for the heckin' bards to lure these guys off the map or something. But yeah, I think we lost right there, so that sucks. Man. Well, that was kind of funny, though. It, it does have eyes! They're blinking! The eyes are blinking! Oh my gosh! That is so crazy! <laughs> kind of want to do a full reset over here. Yeah, how are we going to go against these cactus guys? Because they seem like they're good. I kind of want to I kind of want to get the ninja again, fighting cactus with cactus, you know, but... Monk seems really good. At least at keeping the cactus guys away and blocking them and stuff, you know? Maybe we'll get, like, six monks. That seems all right. Maybe put them a little bit closer together. Maybe, like, uh, that's eight of them. There you go. Guess we could do that. That that seems fine. And then, what could we do behind them? Like, a bunch of archers, perhaps? Just a bunch of regular archers, perhaps. There we go. That's a lot of them. Hopefully those monks are... I might... I kind of feel like I might need way more monks than that, but yeah. Monks are pretty good at soaking up damage. I don't know if they'll be able to soak up, like... Tons of heckin' damage from these cacti. I think that monk is dead. I can't tell because he's wearing a mask, unfortunately, but we do have a pretty good firing squad of heckin' archers over here to hopefully take out all the cactus guys. If if they do, I don't know. Do they soak arrows? I don't know. Well, one cactus guy is at least dead right now. We still have a couple monks right now. So we get up some damage, even dealing out some damage with their heckin' stick over here, which is good. And of course, the cactus, or the, uh, the firing squad of archers in the background, hopefully... Yeah, that's, that's that monk. He's dead. Well, there's only one minor guy and one... I don't know. Is he taking damage from that? He's so he's soaking up a lot of arrows. Oh! Yeah. So he does have some sort of, I assume, AoE thorn attack there. He's able to shoot out a bunch of thorns in every direction. Huh. Interesting. And of course, they took out the minor guy over here. I think he is able to soak up arrows. So it might not be the best idea to take him on. He doesn't seem necessarily slow. I guess... Uh, I guess if we're... In a lot of archers to go up against them. Yeah, it will work, but probably not the best idea to counter him with an archer. Ooh, we're surrounded. Ooh, what's this one called? Bullets and cacti. Ooh. Oh, this is a new unit here. What is this unit? Oh, man, this is a... What was he called again? Was this the... Is this the quick draw? Uh, it's the gunslinger, I think. Ooh. He's like four guns. What? Yeah, look at that. He's got four guns. 
For $650, that seems really good unless it's a one-time use like the flintlock. I doubt it is though, but yeah, we're, we're surrounded here, you guys. Well, at least there's only one gunslinger on this side. But we still have three cacti on both sides going to surround us. How are we going to take them on? With $4,500, that's pretty good. I definitely feel like some shield-type units might be good against these guys, so... Might want to get... What type of shield unit am I going to get this time? Maybe... We got Shield Bearer... Protector... I guess we'll use Shield Bearer. This will be fine, I'd say. At least get a few of them, you know? Uh, oh, I can't make them face that direction, unfortunately, so... I guess we'll get a few of them here. There you go, we'll get a few of them like this. Six of them that... Is there four guns per guy over here? So we have 12 guns shooting at us, so... <laughs> I don't know if their shields are going to be good enough for that. I guess maybe I'll get, like, eight of them? Because I don't want to spend too much money. And then we have only one over there, so I guess maybe I'll get three, and hopefully they'll turn around and actually start blocking that guy's arrow. Or, uh, Jesus, bullets. We have $3,400 left over. Quite a lot of money, which I love. Kind of want to use an ambush-type unit against these guys, but how good is it going to be against the cactus that apparently does AoE? Hmm... So Rissa might be good against the cactus. He might be he might be far enough away with his long spear there where he's able to poke and prod the cactus, but the cactus might not his his like thorn AoE attack might not be able to reach him. Ooh, that could be good. So how many Sarissas am I gonna have? There's six. So that'd be two per cactus guy. Let's get let's get eight there. And then of course I guess I'd have eight over here too. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we can get more shield guys over here too. So yeah, let's get let's get five, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So we have the same army on both sides here, with nine hundred dollars left over. Nine eighty. That's a lot of money left over. We could use that kind of money to maybe get our own. I don't know. I I said I wanted to, an ambush type unit. I I really don't think the headbutter would be good. I feel like maybe the. The Berserker wouldn't last too long, right? Maybe he'd get a few hits out on him and then he'd die. I don't know if the Berserker would be able to take out the Gunslingers, but I guess we could try. We'd get three. Oh, I'm just barely not able to get another one over here to take on that Gunslinger. Hmm. I guess I can get rid of one shield guy here, perhaps. So there you go. And we can get one Berserker there to hopefully take on that Gunslinger. If we could do this, that'd be great. Yeah, look at that. The Berserkers go straight for the Gunslingers. Take them out. That's good strategy there. Same thing on this side. Berserker taking out the gunslinger. Wait, whoa, he's shooting in the sky. Wait, is he supposed to shoot in the sky? Or is he... Oh, he's shooting in the sky to make it, like, rain down bullets or something? Ooh, I think that's what he's doing. What? He took out the heckin' Berserker. Ooh, boy, at least the Sarissa's over here, along with the shield guys, are able to take on the cactus guys, which is good. I think that strategy worked out pretty well, which is... Whoa! This guy, like, turned gray from all the heckin' thorns. Man, that sucks to be him. Sheesh. But yeah, looks like our army over here, with the Sarissa's and shields, took these guys... Yeah, how's that? Oh, yeah, look at that! It comes down to the... Whoa, did it just kill all of them? Whoa, that's powerful! Holy... So he's not directly shooting at the enemy, so the shield guy doesn't seem like he works very well. Hold on, but it seems like it takes forever f yeah, it takes forever for him to reload that, because he's got like four egged guns. And of course the Sarissa is able to poke him from quite a distance, that's good. Really interesting units thus far here, you guys, I'm liking it. Oh, once again, getting ambushed from both sides here, from the front and the back, with Cactus guys and I assume more gun- Oh man, three-way! A three-way ambush here. Oh wait, no, these are dynamite throwers. Yeah, these are all- Whoa, that's a lot of dynamite. That is a lot of dynamites. How much money are we worth? 3,500. Man, I don't know what we could do against this many dynamite throwers. Like, I could get a bunch of ambush things like the Berserkers. But... I don't know, they, they, they jump around like jumping jacks and stuff. To bait out the dynamite, but does the dynamite thrower throw multiple dynamite? Will it refresh the dynamite, or is it just a one-time throw and then it's useless? Kind of like the flintlock, it was a one-time one shoot and then it's useless. But then after, if, if they do end up killing the dynamite guys, I don't think the berserkers, because they have low health. I don't think they'd be able to take on the cactus guys on their own, you know? So that's why I don't really want to use them. What could I use against these guys? Wheelbarrow might be okay. Scarecrow might be okay. I, I keep forgetting about these types of units. And then, of course, we have, like, the sword guy. Yeah, the sword caster. 
But he really needs stuff to protect him. He might be able to kill the cactus guys. But he really needs like some protection, you guys. Reaper, how much was that? 2,500. He might be able to insta-kill the cactus. But I don't think he could soak up like a trillion dynamite attacks. I don't know. But a thousand dollars left over. We could probably get some berserkers to try and jump. Or some what, what other what other type of ambush type unit can we get? Was there a spooky ambush type unit? Maybe the vampire? But like I guess, yeah, we could try it. That might be alright, but like he he's gonna go up right against the cactus and try and suck his cactus juice out, but <laughs> he'll just die instantly due to the cactus thorn AoE attack, right? I guess we get a few uh I really don't think the, the vampire's gonna work too well. What do we have for pirate? That might be ambush. Yeah, I don't think we have a, an ambush for pirate, right? Yeah. And of course we have the monkey king for the uh that we could use as his, his like fake duplicates. Could be like uh, able to bait out the dynamite attacks from the dynamite throwers, but that's that's two thousand dollars. We only have thirty five hundred for this, so I guess we can see how the Reaper does alongside all the vampires here to hopefully bait. Well, I guess if anything, yeah. If there is friendly fire with the van or uh, the dynamite, yeah. And then there's the big uh, thorn attack right there. If they can bait out the dynamite throwings, and what's going on over here with the Reaper? Is he going to insta kill the heckin' cacti guy? Maybe, because there's a lot of dynamite there on the ground. Is he going to? Oh, it's starting to explode now. I think the dynamite does do friendly fire. Maybe. The Reaper's still alive. Unfortunately, it looks like the Reaper wasted a lot of those insta-kills on, uh... Yeah. Oh, man, I've got my oven beeping in the background. Whoops. Is he able to kill those cactus guys? Please tell me yes. Come on. No! Oh. Oh, we still have one cactus guy over here. Oh! Oh, yes. Okay, we won. But yeah, he wasted all those insta-kill tentacle attacks on the heckin' uh, dynamite throwers, unfortunately. I really do think the dynamite throwers are a one-time thing, though. Because these guys... They threw a dynamite? I didn't see them, like, reload another dynamite or anything like that. I think they're a one-time use, which makes sense, because they're relatively cheap. The cactus guys... How much do they cost? They seem like a really good unit, you guys. Oh, yeah, we've got the secret unit now. I didn't know they'd use the secret units in the heckin' campaign. I think it might have done that before, but... Yeah, they don't they don't have the, the, the bank robbers on their normal unit over here, right? Yeah, it's a secret unit that we unlocked on my second channel. <laughs> yeah, the bank robbers. 850? I think it is a relatively, relatively weak unit. Because it's, it's, it's kind of like the longship from the Viking. Where it throws the safe, does big splash AoE damage. And then after that, I don't think the, the, the bank robbers themselves have any actual weapon. Well, they have guns, but can they use them? I don't know. I'd have to see. Let's let's test that out. But we have $4,000 going up against all this. Kind of want to use numbers against these guys. Just because... And I don't want to use something slow like a squire. The balloon archer seems great for the cactus guy. Because he, he can soak up the arrow hits, I'm pretty sure. But he wouldn't, he'd still go up in the air. Oh, and then we have a few dynamite throwers there in the middle, so definitely want to think about them. I think I'm going to get some balloon archers. Let's get a few, let's get like three on each side there. There you go. But they might be able to take the cactus guys in the sky, take them out of the quick. Oh, and then we have the like musketeers that can shoot them from afar, too, and snipe down the. Ooh, yeah. We can get a few of them, get like two on each side. That sounds good. Snipe down the cactus guys, maybe. That seems good. And then we could have a, maybe some sort of army here in the middle. Maybe. The king is decent at, like, soaking up damage and dealing out damage. And we can get some healers for him, too, and help him out with that. Oh, we can only do one. How much do they cost again? 150, 180. We have 120 left over. We can get a couple halflings. <laughs> or something, right? Or bards or something. Yeah, we get some bards to kind of distract these guys, maybe. Let's get some bards. Here we go. And, uh... Yeah, that might be fine. At least for right now. We have really good uh, range back here to take these guys on. We get the bards to distract these guys. Because these guys are all melee, except for the bomb uh, dynamite throwers. Which are, I guess, after they throw the dynamite, or just melee, they'll just punch you, I guess. And I, I, yeah, I guess the safe throwers, the bank robbers, we're going to see if they actually shoot those guns. So, hmm. Is this good? I think it might be. We got the healer. I really want to have two healers, though. And if I do that, I'll have to get rid of someone. Maybe I'll get rid of one of the musketeers. And then we can get another healer here for the king, because I really he's, he's going to soak up a lot of damage there. We have $190 left over. We could probably replace him with a... Let's see. Maybe like a firework archer. Yeah, we can get a firework archer instead. So there you go. We, we can get a firework archer. That seems fine to me. Yeah, that'll work. Anyways, hold on. I've got to take my stuff out of the oven so it don't make it burn. Sheesh.
Are you guys are back. Took it out of the oven. It, did, it didn't burn, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Anyways, let's start this. Let's see. How good is the king gonna be with his healers? Yeah, see, they, they throw the safe. Another safe thrown. Another safe thrown. Oh, yeah, and then the firework archer. Yeah, he does do explosions as well. Oh, no. The set, what is <laughs> He's lifting the other guy up with the safe. Oh, it's, it's because of the balloons. Ooh, that's good. The king is still over here alive, but his healers are about to de- Whoa! Really good hit right there with the firework exploding. King is still soaking up a ton of damage there, especially with the healer. Amazing job right there. Man, the king with the healers is so underrated. He's able to soak up so much damage, you guys. Like two or three safe throws, which deal out massive heckin' damage. Did we see if they... Oh, I need to see. I need to test this. Oh, now we have the... the which one are the, the lasso guys? Yeah, the lasso. So we're going up against miners, lassos, and cacti. I want to do that last level again. How do I do that again? Because they changed the UI on this one. I want to go back. Hold on. No, here we go. Map select. Let's do bank rob. Let's do that one. Let's get. What could we use to? Because I want to see. Let's get like. Uh, let's get like halflings to, to at least bait out the safe throwings. There you go. Get some halflings. And then I guess we can get. Eh, you know what? Let's get a bunch of halflings. Let's get like a thousand. Let's get. Let's get nothing but heckin' halfling. Like waves and waves of halflings. There you go. Let's see. Now they're going through. Yeah, they're throwing the saves. Yep, and they're throwing the the, the dynamite too. Are they using their guns? I don't think they are. Yeah, they're punching. Yeah, they have guns on their holsters and everything, and bullets and everything, and they're not using them. What are they doing? Oh my god, are these halflings gonna win? Are they gonna outnumber the cactus? The cactus guy is like built to take on mobs of halflings though, with his big like spike thorn attack. Yeah, he's he's they're taking out these halflings no problem. Like these halflings, they have huge numbers and stuff, but there's just bodies all over the place. These halflings don't stand a heck of chance. One cactus guy did go down right there though. That's actually kind of surprising. Although I'm pretty sure maybe that cactus guy got weakened from the dynamite or something. I don't know, but <laughs> they're halflings stuck to these guys' cactus arms. <laughs> uh, how are they still alive? There's ca there's cactus thorns shooting off in every direction. This guy's cacti, he's like thorns in his back and his butt. How is he still going? This guy's an absolute trooper. There are three, that, oh my God, he just got slapped. <laughs> Jeez, that was crazy. Man, he just got to get slapped. All right, okay, yeah, well, we already beat this level. Let's move on to the catching cacti, ooh. Yeah, we have the lasso, guy, lasso guys over here with their weird looking horses. Now, those are kind of weird looking horses. But, uh, what could these guys do? Surely they single out a unit. They single out it kind of like what I'm thinking, like the balloon archer does. Where the balloon archer hits you with a balloon arrow and it takes you up in the sky. Surely this guy is able to, like, snag your unit and render it useless, perhaps. Because if, if, he, if he lassos it, probably ties up your arms, ties up your legs, and you're just kind of, I forget what it's called, but you're, like, tied up. Uh, hogtied, and you can't, you, you're useless at that point, so kind of want to get something to bait out those lasso hits, if they're a one-time lasso thing. Maybe, once again, like, like halflings are great and expendable. <laughs> like, we'd use them en masse over here, you guys. Let's, oh yeah, how much money do we have? 4,800, that's a lot of money. Let's use 800 of that, though, to get a bunch of heckin' halflings. <laughs> there we go, $800 worth of halflings there. That, that, that'll, that'll definitely pay for itself. But what could be a good unit to take on the heckin' lasso guy that's running around on a horse definitely wants something that can actually catch up with it so don't want to have something like a like a bow and arrow guy that could shoot and then easily miss right so what could we do to take them on oh you know what i kind of want to get a jouster we could fight their horses with our own horses huh let's do it it's basically the same type of unit and it actually has a heckin weapon on these guys so that seems good yeah do these guys even have weapons or is it just a lasso or does the lasso insta-kill? That might be something. Ooh. If that's the case, that might be pretty interesting. Now, we have $1,000 left over. We could, we definitely do need some sort of meat to our army. So what can we do? I'm trying to use a pretty good variety of units, you guys. Snake Archer's kind of crazy. We haven't used them in a while. <laughs> they could just kind of meme around a bit, you know? But I feel like they're heckin' useless. Zeus is crazy. I don't know. Zeus might be good if we had... Zeus might have been good on that map that had a bunch of dynamite throwers, right? That sounds good. But, uh... What could we use here? Potion Cell? I keep forgetting about them. Farmer, Hate Baylor. 
You know what? It's been a while since we've had snake archers. Oh! Whoa! I didn't even notice there are dynamite throwers hidden over here. I just noticed that. Ooh. Are there any more? Hold on. Oh, and there, there's more over here. Yeah. Man. Well, if they throw the dynamite with the jousters running around, it's going to be basically useless. There ain't more. There could be hidden cacti guys over here, and I just don't see them. <laughs> oh, there's another one behind us over here, too. Yeah, they're really hiding units and stuff over Oh, we could put units on the roof. Yeah, but they won't stay up there. Unless I put, like, a ballista or something. Ooh. We could do that. We could put a heckin' ballista on the roof, you guys. Where is the ballista? I keep forgetting. Ancient. Yes. But, where's it? I guess here? But hopefully he doesn't fall off, right? I'm like, he might fall off. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to fall off, isn't he? What about unit control? Hold on. Unit control. Oh, God. Which button is it? This one? This one, yes. Man! Oh, my God. No! No! No, you're ruining it! Oh, no! You're going to land on the dynamite! Oh, get out of there! You better get out of there! You better get out of there! No! No, it's stuck! Oh! Oh, I took some dip. No! Oh, my God. No! This is... <laughs> This is it. No, I died. Man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I don't even know what's happening over here. What's happening over here? Man. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, oh, the jousters won, I think. I think the jousters won. I'm going to I'm going to replay this one, you guys. That's stupid. <laughs> I, I had that whole like of time. Oh, we're going to go over here. We're going to take on that one dynamite thrower. Yeah, they do not regenerate the dynamite, which is good. Hit them. There you go. Got them. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's, let's redo that one. Let's redo that one. We had $800 worth of halflings, three jousters. Yeah, that was a waste there with the heck, and uh, I thought he'd stay up there, but it was, yeah. Oh, sharpshooting. Ooh, we're going to get the sharpshooter guy next, huh? Oh, wait, no, we had him before, huh? No, that was a gunslinger. Oh, I guess, yeah, the next one's going to be dead eye. Ooh, or quick draw. Probably dead eye, because we haven't had them yet, but yeah, let's, let's get the halflings. Go over to the jousters. Where is it at? Renaissance, there we go. Let's get them. There you go, yeah, they seem pretty good. Then thousand dollars left over. I don't know. We can probably get yeah, yeah you know what yeah we can get the bards or something crazy just kind of drive these guys around or you know what? we can get another jouster we could outnumber them yeah let's get four jousters yeah because they seem really good against these guys but yeah the cactus guys what what do the lasso guys do though so they're lassoing somewhere at least try to lasso someone right there <laughs> this heavily's going flying golly and these guys over here of course joustering or jouster getting those uh, oh another jouster over here getting those uh, dynamite throws which is good Lasso guy right here lasso a halfling, but he's still alive, so it's not an insta-kill, but he does render the unit useless, kind of like I was thinking, so that's, that's interesting. I wonder if he lassos something like, maybe like an archer, if they're still able to shoot around and stuff, that'd be crazy. This is absolute mayhem right here, you guys. All of our jousters are still alive, which is good, but this guy's, this jousters actually got lassoed, I think, no? Can he get lassoed? Oh, he lassoed my horse! My horse is dead! No! What's happening over here? Three three jousters going up against one cactus guy. That's heckin' overkill right there. Oh, no! Well, he lassoed our uh, jouster guy right there. Oh, yep, and he's down now, so that's good. He's down, yep. Because there's like three of our jousters going up against him, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't see the appeal of the lasso guy, honestly. Like, he renders a unit useless, right? And is it just a one unit sort of thing? Maybe? I don't know, but it... He doesn't seem like he deals out actual damage. Or maybe he does damage over time or something like that, or maybe like chokes you out with a lasso. Maybe suffocates you, perhaps. Oh, yeah, these are the new gun units. Where are they? Oh, yeah, they have like rifles or a shotgun or something. What is this? Can't tell. There's got to be some sort of rifle here. Hmm. Oh, and there's a tiny one right there. Yeah, and then, of course, dynamite guys, cactus guys. Any, any hidden ones over here? Any hidden dynamite guys over here? Hmm. I don't see any, so that's good. This might be the last map for the episode, you guys, but how are we going against? Ah, we have $4,900. You know what? I kind of want to get... Let's get Musketeers. What if we fight fire with Hagen Fire here, you guys? Let's get our own firing squad of Hagen Musketeers. Like a big firing squad. Holy... I wonder if they have better range than the Musketeers, actually. Let's put... Because the Musketeers have really good range. Let's put them really far away like that. And then... Maybe... We can, we can just barely not afford... Oh, wait, yeah, we can get one archer. There you go. One archer right there. He didn't get the memo. He didn't get the memo that we're supposed to be using guns here. So, let's see. Which, which, oh, wait. I think ours are better. Wait, do these guys shoot multiple times? Like, faster? Yeah, they just reloaded right there. They have a lever action. Yeah, that seems a lot faster than a musketeer. Yeah, they've got a... Oh, this guy got hit by a thorn or something like that. I guess the thorn kind of 
stuns you for a bit. Ooh, because he's not able to reload. He's not able to do anything. That's powerful. That's really powerful there. Yeah, we can't just spam musketeers with the thorn guys, the cactus guys. Ooh, interesting. I didn't notice that. But yeah, the, the, and the musketeers were able to shoot a lot of these guys down, but it seems like the cactus guys are able to soak really well, so... Kind of thinking about maybe, maybe still getting some musketeer guys, but maybe putting them on the roof. Just because, like, I wanted to do that just a moment ago, but I used the wrong heckin' unit. So let's put those musketeers, let's put them up here. Now, hopefully they do not fall off the heckin' roof and stuff, you know? What if we put another one right there? What about over here? Maybe, uh, oh, maybe i put them on this, yeah. Can they even go over that edge? This might be good. Put them on the sheriff's building? Uh, now what could we have as, like, a ground army to go up against these guys? Is the samurai able to deflect these guys' shots too? They might. They might be able to. If, they, if that's the case, monk samurai might be good. Monks to kind of take on the cactus guys. So we have four cactus guys. Maybe get like six monks. So there you go. There's five, six. And then we can get just a bunch of samurai behind them. Nice little army of them. To, well, then again, yeah, hopefully uh, the dynamite guys. Where are the, oh, nice little snipe right there. Where the, oh, man, they better get away from those dynamite. No! Man! The dynamites are coming. Man! Oh, that sucks. I need something to bait out the dynamite hits. Man. But at least these guys are. Oh, but they're getting sniped down too. Oh, no. Their guns are stuck. Their guns are stuck. What are you guys doing? Don't cross the guns. What about these guys over here? Are they. Oh, they fell off the building. Oh, one of them's still here. Are you done? Man, what are you doing? Pfft. I'm going to unit control you, actually. Hold on. Let me unit control you. I'm aiming these guys down. Oh, I missed. Either that, the cactus guy's really good at uh, soaking up hits. Man, these guys aren't... Oh, what are they doing? They're stuck. They're all stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, they're reloading. They're reloading. I think they can hit from here. Yeah, th this is actually a really good spot. I, I can hide musketeers and stuff up here, but yeah, we can't shoot them. Oh, my God. I might have to actually use the other... Oh, is he stuck? What is this guy doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He's, like, dead. He's not dead, but he's he's dead. Wait, what? What is he doing? I can't move him at all. He's at, he, he actually, he tipped over, fell over, and like died. He has full health. I can see he has full health. And I can still unit control him, so obviously he's still alive. What? I think we're at a standstill here, you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is bad. Hold on, let's, let's restart here. Let's restart. Yeah, we need something to bait out those dynamite hits. So let's, let's move our monk, arm, monk army back. These guys are relatively slow. Let's, let's get only like five of them. There you go. Let's get five of them. That sounds good. We still have more uh, monks than cactus guys. Let's get a bunch of uh, samurai guys and then forget one of them. Oh, whoops. And then we can get like two, uh, two or three halflings. You know, we can get two of them. And then we have $40 left over. We can't get anything else. But let's, let's actually bait the, uh, the dynamite things like right there, right at the line. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. Now, hopefully, the, well, the dynamite, they do take a while to kick in. Oh, God! That, <laughs> they can knock their cactus guys into our, like, meat grinder over here. Nice! The dynamite's exploded away from us. That's good. Baited out those dynamite hits. Well, now the cactus guys are right up against our units doing a thorn attack. Doing some good AoE, but then again, we have some really good monks over here. We got our samurai guys. I can even physically see their, their, uh, the samurai uh, swords deflecting the, the, the gunshots, which is good. You can actually see that. You can see them, like, King off of the, uh, the, the blade. Hopefully we can see that. I don't think... Can they deflect the, the thorns? I don't think so. Is there one about... Oh! Oh, yep! See right there? He just deflected that bullet right there. Yep. Oh, he didn't deflect. Oh, that was a monk. But that one, yep, that one just got deflected. That's good. Yep. These guys are so good against these egg guns. And we got monks over here. Nice deflection. Nice deflection. Yep, these guys are going down. Oh my god, you do not know how to hold a gun! <laughs> I love every time these second units, they never know how to hold their weapons. Like, we just saw that with our own side just last round. They're just crossing their guns and stuff. They don't know how to use them and stuff. But these guys should go down. Oh, yeah, we had uh, a guy up there. I think he's stuck, though. But, yeah, this this, this gunslinger, or uh, Deadeye, I think they're called. This one's going down. Yep, just went down. No problem right there. Nice. Is this guy stuck again? Yeah, these guys, like, fell off. And, no, I think they got sniped down, actually, now I think about it. Is this guy dead again? He's in the same spot. Oh, yep, yep, he's still alive. I see those eyes. They're not dead. Yep, I see you there. I see what you're doing. Man. <laughs> Anyways, next episode. Ooh. Next episode, we're going up against uh, another secret unit over here, the ball and chain. And uh, I believe, if I remember correctly from my video, they throw the ball and it's another, like, explosion type thing. So they have a lot of, like, explosion AoE type units. The cactus AoE. 
the ball and chain AoE, the safe, the, the bank robber thrower, AoE, the dynamite thrower, AoE. And these guys over here that like rain down bullets, AoE, I guess you could call that. A lot of AoE over here with these, uh, these Wild West units, you guys. But this is going to be for next episode because this episode is getting kind of long. So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. That was the wrong button. <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos because I had to put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode because next time we come back with more totally accurate battle simulator, we're going to jump back into the Wild West campaign to do the bullets and chains. The exploding lasso. Ooh. That sounds interesting. High noon. Sounds like it might be a duel, like a one on one sort of meme. Three bandit gangs, all the bullets. That's going to be crazy there. <laughs> Just get a bunch of samurai and we'll be able to beat that one. No problem. Whoa! Lot oh, wait. Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, I forgot about it. The first part, you're going up against a bunch of Wild West units and then you start controlling the Wild West units. So when is that going to be? Uh, Bullet Rain. Ooh, that's going to be a bunch of the, uh, the gunslingers, I think, right? Yep, that's what it's called, the Bullet Rain. When are we going to start being uh, the Wild West units? I think around here, small tribe. Yeah, because we're, we're not on the Wild West map anymore. So we have a few more uh, Wild West uh, maps. Yeah, like eight more Wild West maps. Yeah, we just did eight maps right there. Oh, wait, no, we did seven. Yeah, we have like nine more Wild West maps ahead of us, you guys. But like I said, that's going to be for next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh, bye there. Whoa!